Cast your mind back to the Whitechapel episode of the Hidden London Hangouts, and we talked about Whitechapel Bell Foundry. Yep, that's when we learned all about campanology and how to ding and dong. We asked and you answered. A lovely viewer got in touch to help us learn how to bell ring. So today we're at St Andrew's Church, South Stoke, to learn how to bell ring. In this week's episode... Mind your heads. Mind your heads. That's a loud dog. <laughs> if I'm the clutter, yeah. this would not for me. <laughs> Bell Yay! Foundry! We've got the link! That was fun. So we're in a pub. Ooh. This is water. What's going on? <laughs> well, it's a bit of an unusual thing, I know, but... We're here to learn to ring bells today, aren't we? Mm. So, a little bit of uh, pub instruction first. Is this a science <laughs> lesson? I'm going to put the glass <laughs> back on way. now. Feel more intelligent with the glasses on. So, we've got our bells here. Yep. Right? So... Sophisticated. Oh, nice. Oh. Well done. We're going to be ringing them in order. Yes. To play a scale like that later. Right. But before we do it, when we first start with the bells, they won't be that way up, they'll be like that. Right. Dripping? Dripping, yeah. Dripping, <laughs> yeah, depending on the weather. And we've got to gradually swing them up like that. You're flicking water. Right. Until <laughs> <laughs> we get them upright. Yeah. And then we can ring them. Then the party begins. Yeah. <laughs> so ringing up, <laughs> yep. ringing down. Yep. And then. Don't do that too much. We're going to learn how to ring them Don. like that. So, so the dong goes from literally left to right. Them. And ring them yeah, as a peel. That's right. our mission. Can on, I... a, on a scale of one to ten, how likely do you think it is that we'll be able to manage this? As a previous bell ringer, experienced person, Quite. that if, was that was grammatically terrible. If I think back but... to the root master episode, you guys all learnt, applied, you listened to what you were taught, and you were really good at it. So I think you're going to knock it out of the park. Well, the, the difference of that is that we all have a driver's license and know how to drive a car. Yeah. We don't have a bell license. And so. I'm not a reverend. And as far as I know, no such thing exists. So that's the good news. So I'm very you know, excited. <laughs> there is a guild of bell ringers. There so is, yes. So one last thing. Mm. Before, while we're here, could you pretend we're at Maplin's holiday camp? Magic <laughs> trick, <laughs> magic trick. Gladys Pew and do a dong, dong, dong. Hello, uh, campers. I, I don't do magic tricks. I bet you do. The world's not ready for magic, Chris. Give us three notes off this. This know. is fascinating. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. Oh, nice! Three blind mice. There you go. I genuinely Brilliant. think we need to go and do the actual yeah, bell ringing now. Yeah, let's do the bells now. Shall and we? that should be yep. gin. <laughs> right, let's get you on the end of a bell. Mm. Well, this is rather cute, isn't it? It sure is. Come on, just stay to do it. We uh, made it. We are at St Andrews in South Stoke. You've mm -hmm. sorted out the train tickets. There's Dick. a pub around the corner. Dick. That's a beautiful church with a lovely clock and some bells. Big From Dick. the 13th century. Well and a done, cockerel you. on top as a weather vane. Gotta mm -hmm. love a mm -hmm. clock on the top of a yep. church. And today we are going to learn to play bells. We are going to bell ring. And some of us no more than others. Yeah, Chris, why are you such an expert on this? I just happened to have done it when I was younger. So uh, <laughs> let's see if I can remember any of it, shall we? Okay. I cannot wait to try this. This is going to be so much fun. And there's such a lovely group of people. We have been invited this. by such a lovely group of people and uh, I can't wait for you to meet them as well. Yep. So I think we're going to get to see how a clock strikes a bell, what the bells themselves are like, and then have a go at actually ringing. Whew. And the weird thing about this is just because we're normally in London for stuff, but we're now in the middle of the countryside. Just listen to the silence. I know, it's so nice, isn't it? Should we go and shatter that? Yeah, oh, let's do it. Dong. Dong. Ding! Would you like to see my lovely clock? Mm. Well, I think that's what everyone wants to see. See this, right? We're on the, now where are we? The second floor, aren't that's we? That's right, we're above the ringing chamber. Bell tower, and these, these are the things that the ropes for the bells hang in That's right, through shoots, yeah. this lovely clock mechanism mm -hmm. that used to be uh, wound by hand. Yes. You know? And this is the simplest way that the bells are used, which is just this is connected to a set of hammers which physically strike the bell. Dong. Yeah. So that's it's the simplest way it. that they get used. So this is just to mark the hour. Yeah. So uh, on the hour, every hour. And as we can see, it was uh, 
Yeah. And we'll see to the War Office, the India Office. That's pretty cool, cool isn't that it? That is really piece cool. Of, uh, piece of equipment there. The other thing which I'm very pleased to see is not only does it got some sort of utility key, but that appears to be a bottle opener. I think oh. it's a very, very handy thing to have. Like it's quite interesting because I have been told that afternoon tea also includes a trifle, so I'm thinking maybe wine might be a good idea as well. Speaking of afternoon tea, we're just about to find out what time it is now. Let's yeah, have a little look. I think it's almost ready. Shall we, um, let's let's have we get out of the way? Yeah, let's, see do it. Let's, let's do this. Do this. You know, that was incredible really, to watch. A number of times we've been in like villages, you know, mm. you're traveling around the country and you, you hear the church spire chime. Never seen it from the business end. It's incredible, isn't it? I, I love actually seeing the mechanism that's mm. making the thing that you're used to doing it. It's a, a hidden thing in its own right. It's fabulous. So next floor up, I'm presuming is the business end, is it? It's the bell chamber. That's, well, I that's... thought this was the business end. Well, there's two businesses here. <laughs> you've got the clock and you've got the bells. Double business. It's very intricate how it all works together. I'm fascinated. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I'm so, really looking forward to it. Yeah. The important thing is to understand what's connected to these ropes, because when you're pulling on the end of them, you need to know what you're actually doing upstairs. You need to know the anatomy of this. You do. Yeah. Uh, and upstairs uh, is Robert, who's going to explain what the bells look yeah, like, what they do. Work. Let's do this then. Let's get upstairs yeah. and we'll do this. Have a look. Right, okay. Right. Let's Lovely. do it. Law, you go. Chim, it's a bit like being a tube station, isn't it, with all these rickety old uh, ladders? Well, we used to tight spaces. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, mind your heads. <gasps> oh mind your heads. Goodness. What are you gasping at, Lord? The size of the bells. Oh, Ooh, thank you look so at much. that. Look at that. It's very. Incredible. How many have we got up here? Four, six? Well, is this like your second home? Yes, yes it certainly is. Yes, a lot of time up here. This is remarkable. Good afternoon, oh, folks, wow. and welcome to our belfry. Thank Thanks you for having us. That's us. okay. Yes. That's so okay. Just a bit. Just oh, a pleasure. Wow. So, okay. While you're up here, the first thing you're going to hear is, believe it or not, the um, the clock struck the half hour. Is it? Which one's going yes, to strike? It's going to be this big tenor. Ooh, is it, it really will, loud? It's not too bad. And that um, that large lump of metal had a hammer. Is that, will, is that will a hammer or a clapper? Hammer. Ooh. It's a hammer. And, okay. and, that and will, how often will, will it ring? Just once? Just once now for a half hour. Half past. It's yeah. not long, guys. Yeah. It's not long. So this is bell metal. We learned yes. that in the Whitechapel episode. Yeah, that's correct. Related to, but not the same as gun metal. Yeah, and I'm just waiting yeah. for that hammer to dong. Here it goes. Ooh. Just one dong. Wow. That was a loud dong. You really want that's so exciting. You, you want that moment where you go like this. This is fantastic. So it's still going. Yeah. So this is the business end of what we're going to be doing downstairs. Exactly. Isn't it? So exactly. we will each grab a, a, a rope, a rope a Sally. Yes. yes. And yes. we'll pull. Now, when we pull them, these bells tip, right? Yes. And yes. then the clapper inside hits the side of the bell. Correct. Correct. What what we would do at present? The the bells are in the down position at the present time. Which is for for safety reasons that has to be that's being wise. done. That's wise. That's very yeah. wise yeah. for us. What I will do in a minute is get my colleague down the bottom to ring the treble up, Brilliant. and then you can see the bell being rung up, and then after that I will explain it all to you. Brilliant. Oh. So okay. right. we're calling Andrew. I, I have a, actually told the clapper off, so we don't have to <laughs> really? put our fingers oh. in the ears. There's too okay. many funny things said here. Yeah. Um, so um. tell us about the anatomy of these bells, right? So you've got that. Thing, and then you've got the clapper in the middle. I mean, to describe it for correct, us, tell us correct. you're the expert. Yeah. Yes, great. Well, we've here we've got um, we've got six bells ranging from the treble up 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 to the tenor, which is this one. Mm -hmm. um, when we're ringing in Britain, we ring a full circle ring. With in other countries, European countries, you only ring just basically dong the bells when they're down. Um, what we were doing a minute is actually basically ring the bell up, and then you will see what's happening. Um, the bell itself, if you can imagine a clock face, when the bell is in the upside down position, it is set at one o'clock. Right. And there is a thing called a, called a slider and the stay, which will stop it going over and over. So in the simplest terms, 
these will literally rotate. They won't go right over, no, but they'll no, go to... A slider and a stay will actually stop that. So when you're ringing, you basically get... The, the, when we ring the bells up in a minute, the, um, the bell will be upside down. And then when you're ringing, it will go from the 12 o'clock position clockwise to 12 oh, o'clock. No. And then when you ring, it will then go anti-clockwise to 12 o'clock. But does this and stop it at the top? Yeah, the slider it, it stop, and, and, and it is yeah. up to you as a person to actually stop it. Oh, Keep right. it on the balance, as <laughs> I call sense. it. Oh. The word balance will come into this equation. Okay, quite okay. A bit. okay. good to okay. know. Mixie, what are you doing up there? Well, look, let's do a little bit of pointing, right? So this bell in the down position now, once it's swung into the upward position, this thing, the stay, will be down at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And if we look, Robert was just saying about the slider, which is this thing in here, and it's called a slider because it slides like that. So when the bell swings around that way, that stay will push it to there and you can set the bell against it. If it swings, when it swings around the other way, the slider goes back that way and you can set it against that. If, however, you were to swing it too hard and miss, it's also a safety device. Those are made out of ash because they'll cut cleanly, they'll snap cleanly, and it's designed so you don't damage the bell frame. That will snap and let the bell carry on rather than it damaging the bell frame. Right. Okay. You, it'll make sense when you see it actually coming into, uh, into movement, but that's what that's for. That's a stay, that's a slider, and that's how you can sp sort of park the bell in the upright position. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, we ready to see this? Can we hear this then? Can we hear this? <laughs> yeah. Andrea, pull my rope! Yep! Oh, look at this. No, don't, don't, don't worry, the, oh, the, 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 the clap has yeah. off. Yeah. So the clap has been tied off wow. so that we don't annoy the neighbours by making it ring. <laughs> I'm just waiting <laughs> for this village to hear this out of tune <laughs> chime that we're going to play. Wow, she really gets it going, doesn't she? She does, she's got some welly. It's like one of those um, pirate ships at the fun fair, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Right, it's now, here's the crucial bit. Ooh, yeah, you look at went... this is a bit, let's see. Ooh. And there we go, parked beautifully. The bell is now set in the upright position ah. on the stay. So she, she did that just by feeling the rope? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow, you've got to have a good feeling. You've got to have a, yeah. The thing that's impressive as well is how quickly she went to the set position. Because yeah. a beginner, yeah. when they're doing oh, this, pro, right. will get very Absolutely. close to the balance point for a long time before they set it, so they don't risk cracking the stone. It's very know? impressive. It's very impressive. I think we should go down and meet the woman who's pulling it. I think we should <laughs> pull it ourselves. Yeah. 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 Is that all right, Robert? Yes, that's, that? that is that is Let's fine. Do Let's yeah. get down yeah. and meet Andrew. All right, who's going to be the best? Uh, you I mean, besides I'm this, rubbish. Yeah, it's I'm rubbish. Yeah, I'm rubbish at everything we do. I mean, Chris is. He doesn't count. It's between us three. Joe, we've been here about 10 seconds and already you've grabbed a rope. Now, to get an idea of the geography of this, you might wonder as well why we're using microphones like this. We've been told we're not to use microphones with a wire yep. Yep. because strangely they might get caught in the rope. So we're doing <laughs> it like this. I'm sorry about the blue lights, but we're now one floor below the clock and two floors below the bells. Yep. All right, so now we're here. That's where the congregation would be down there. Beautiful church, by the way, Robert. It's mm. absolutely Thank stunning. You. Uh, you've grabbed your length already. So um, what is going to happen? What is, what, if you pull that, what's so going to happen? What you just saw upstairs yeah. uh, with the bell, the treble being rung up, you can now hear and see the bit down here for the second bell. Is so, this all right, Robert? Yes, that is yeah. correct. Yes, yes, that's fine. So yeah, which, num <laughs> which, which bell is he about to pull? This will be bell, bell number two. two. Bell so number what two. does the number two mean? Uh, so in a ringing circle, the treble is number one. So that's the lightest the bell? The lightest bell. So this, this is, is the second heaviest, second lightest. third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And, and then oh. that's the tenor. The, si the last one. So you were talking the about the tenor before. That's your oldest bell. That is correct, yeah. yeah. So that's how old is that bell? That bell is 1609 when it was cast. Wow. Yes. And so if you're running that, you'd be the tenor lady. Yes. Oh, right. Now, the, <laughs> the, the, the lightest bell makes the highest note? Correct. Is that right? Yep, yep, that's okay, correct. Okay, so it's that one pitch, yes. is going to be higher than this one he's about yes, to pull yes, on. Okay. Yep, yep, yeah, they gradually go go down in, in order. Okay, yeah, and which bit up. of this is the sally? Is it this thing? That's the sally, Blue. yes. The fluffy bit. Blue, Blue fluffy, fluffy bit, okay. Yeah, and well, that's your tail end. <laughs> could you, would you like to pull that now? Why is it called a sally? 
pass. It could be called a silly for all we know. <laughs> I did laugh because I asked that earlier and they don't know. Uh, could have okay, been called so, a silly. Could have been called a silly. So, so, you'd be hearing from a lawyer. The, the way that I've got the rope here is not how you ring once they're up. This would be a very dangerous thing. So to this do. is you turning it from so, in a down position yeah. up towards. So, so at the moment right. the bell is just, I'm just swinging. Getting this. So at the okay. minute your clapper so, is down. Yeah. In a minute I, you're going to pull it and the clapper will be up. Check the bell. I can get the the hammer to oh, strike well, this against looks like it. A lot of fun. Okay. But what I'm going to do is yeah. now swing it up. So just half a step. Back. Just step away. Yeah. All right. Okay. Jeez. I'm stepping back too, and I'm Look at him. <laughs> So you have to get it swinging and you gradually let the rope out. You get the double hit of the clapper now. And then if it gets to about here, you just start steadying. But if we're in a longer draft tower with more it's height. He looks really wow. good with a beard, doesn't he? He looks better doing this with a beard. Bear in mind, I haven't yeah. actually You're run You're distracting up a about from the magic. Five years. I've got my inhaler downstairs, by the way, if that helps. I know you're getting quite and excitable. And double handed finish, and I've now. Just gently set it onto the stay. That is really good. Oh, <laughs> you heard, you heard extra Very applause good. there as well from Andrea and Lynn, who are going to ring with us today yes. as well, which is just so exciting. And can you believe the things we get to do? I know, an amazing group of people <laughs> are teaching us today. I'm very excited. I think you should just I'm start. I'm a little bit nervous yeah. now. You should just start. I have to yeah. say, a little bit watching nervous. the treble go up, that was a very smooth rise you did there. So very well, but it's way better oh, than that. Andrea's very good with <laughs> yeah. the smooth rise. Now, what do we have to do then, Robert? Now, how are we going right, to do teach this? Teach us. One at a time. Teach yeah, us. Well, basically, yeah. one at a time. Um, I will just give you a demonstration first of, uh, of actually how we ring. Ring up so so you could stand back a little bit. So hands both on Sally's right hand over left. Right hand uh, over left. Unless okay. you are left, provided like you're right-handed, and yep. this you just go down like that, up to the back stroke, balance, back down, mm. balance on hand stroke, and I'm holding it there. Back up. Okay, that's fun. And it's as simple as that. So you're looking at a certain place. Are you waiting for that Sally to pass your eyes? Is that what you're doing? Yes, yes. What, what you will see is the Sally goes up um, to the backstroke, comes down, comes up a little way, and then you can hold it on the balance. So always to go up now, it will just set it as Chris done just now. And the one thing which I still remember when I learned, the bit that feels kind of most unnatural is doing Holding the bits. that. So yes. getting comfortable with just letting the tail end sit because when Correct. you're grabbing, you've still got to use your thumb to just keep a, the, that, yeah. that bit of your thumb just to make sure you don't drop that as you... Because then, <laughs> then you're in trouble. Yeah. This is complicated. That, that's, that's why you have a skill yeah. teacher. Now I've got a very important you. question for you, by the way. I'm, am I going to rip my ring by keeping that ring on? He's got a wedding ring. I've got a ring on. We've um, all got rings on. No, should we you take should it be off okay. Right? If you feel happier taking it off and you get it off, do take it off. I take my ring off. Most of our ringers don't, know, do they? It's the, it's the the bracelets around here, which are which are the worst. What about watch? Watch, you should be okay. Should we do this naked? Just do <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's just working up to that. One. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon, this, this is for you. <laughs> right. Right. So okay. your first job I is guess. to learn how to find the balance on the backstroke. So all I need you to do now is to come I around here. I'm a better woman to do this actually. And Backstroke. Right over left, like that. And that's your tail. Okay. Right over left. That's my tail. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that was quite a lot of love. Just come around here, about like that. Mm -hmm. Now, all I will want you to do is hold, put your hands down there, there like that. Okay. And then let the rope take it up. And I will always have my hand above yours, so do not okay. worry. And then just down like that. Okay. That's all I want you to do to start with. Okay. And full arm movements, right up. Yep. Right down. Could okay. you? It's like an exercise. It's like Mad Lizzie, isn't it? On TKM okay. years ago. All right. Okay. Yep. So fit for this then? I'm novice. ready. Well, here we go then. Ooh. Up. That's it. Nice pull down. This is quite therapeutic, you know? Now, cut two. We've all had a go at this. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> He's not getting out of it that easily. We're going to film him doing it. 
Do you know, you don't do this alone, do you, to quote No, the I certainly don't. You... I have some very good learners here. And well, people you've also here. got I mean, some fabulous people here as well. We've got Andrea and Lynn, right. who are going to basically help us learn the ropes. Right, Andrea. <laughs> so, wanna... Siddy and Andrea, if you go over there to that one. Come on, Andrea. And then Lynn, you come near me because you're fab. Um, and I'm going to sneak in here then. Lord, you just, just pull on that rope, all right? That's what you've got to do. And Nixie is, well, Nixie knows what he's doing anyway, doesn't he? So he's yes, just yes, to yes. Sit with his yes. legs crossed in the corner. Well, that's very true. But this is all good. Okay, so are we having, we're ready to have a go at this, are we? <laughs> Let's do this, yep. guys. Terrifying. Yep. Okay, we've got right. the best tutors in the land. Indeed. <laughs> and as she, she pushes the hands down forcefully. Uh, it's hands down, it's the best tutors on the ropes. It's great. Um, right, okay, let's, go, let's give this a go. Then, all right, good luck. Yes. I'm thinking of the sandwiches. Right. May the best ring a win. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's quite light, isn't it? Absolutely. It doesn't correct, feel yeah. like you don't have to pull a lot. Eat it. Yeah? No, you've done really well. That's excellent. She's so good. She's so good. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Great work. I, um, I can't believe how much, well you've got that one already. Yeah, no, Do you know what? Worry. I'm going to tell you something that Siddy spotted that's going to blow your mind yep. about that bell. This that's one. the, the third. Look ringing. what she's just spotted over oh, there. Look. What have we got here? What have we got? Number three, cast 1882 by, by Mears and Stainback Whitechapel Bell Yay! Foundry. <laughs> We've got the link. <laughs> We've got the link. But this is your next stage now. We've done number one, yep. which is basically learning to do the um, balance on the backstroke. Yep. You've now learned to do the balance on the hand stroke. Yep. So we now have to join everything up. Okay. So that you are then bringing what me like this, see? Mm -hmm. Okay. That. Come a bit closer to pull. The That's it. Let's do it again. Let Back go. Down. Pull. Do it slow, slowly. Let go. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we do need to point so out that we, what you're doing today is a really accelerated process. I know. You yes. might normally take. So. Where you are now, that was me week six. So you're doing really? It, uh, yeah, you're yeah. Really well. I ain't that bright. You, <laughs> seriously. You easily yeah, take six months to learn. This is, fully. But, this is a bit seriously. <laughs> With all, with anything, like, you know, any length, it's all about technique, isn't it? And Absolutely. I think this is the thing that takes the time to perfect. Anyway, Cindy's going to have a first crack at doing all of that together. Looks good. Well, Robert, this is the first time I've seen somebody learn this quickly. Well, so. we don't agree, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, time Robert's like, it. don't speak too soon. No. <laughs> Next time We're starting on the back straight. No, you're going to do the whole lot. All right. That's do I start do. here? So, no, no. And so, don't so, think all hands up, up here, <laughs> as I was doing just now. And then what we will want you to do mm -hmm. is that's pull off. Yep. Back up to backstroke. Yep. Pull down again, and then come up and catch the Sally. Okay. It's a big tall order. Yep. Especially only you started ringing a little while ago as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but whatever happens, anything goes wrong, just hold that and just step back a bit and just leave it, leave it to me. Mm -hmm. so, right up nice and high, yeah. So don't forget to. Right, ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Down you go in. Down and let go. Up. No, down. Okay, I'll go it this time. Right, try and catch it, that's it. Sure. So, Christopher. City. What? <laughs> Whilst they're upstairs yep. um, carrying on their practice, it's time for some bell chat. Yep. You ready for this? Um, bell me up, okay, Scotty. Okay, fine. So, we've got here a model Yes. which shows what they're doing up there. We've got a little bell rope, yep. which shows how you pull on the wheel when mm -hmm. the bell goes round. Yep. Okay. And it so goes all the way up. Yeah. What they're doing now. is just practicing this process of taking it from there all the way around to there. there. Yep. Okay. 
And then that's where you balance it. And that's the balance, mm -hmm. and it's a set bell. Okay, so that's what they're doing. Yep. But there's a couple of other things we've got down here. Yep. So upstairs, when we were looking at what goes on underneath the bell. This thing here. We had this bit here, which helps you set the bell. You've yep. got the slider and you've got the stay, which pushes against the slider. So but it can't go full circle. That's basically. right, unless you whack it so hard that it snaps. Okay. Now that is your slider. Yep. It's quite big. And that is your stay. Is the stay. But this one has a little secret, doesn't it? Which we'll just show to the camera. This is one that has actually been hit too hard and broken in the past and been glued back together uh, just so we can show what it's like. So, didn't, didn't do it, it wasn't me. It wasn't us, it wasn't us. Um, but my favourite bits here have mm. actually been used quite recently. Yep. Any, any ideas as to what, what these are? These are tiny little strap-ons. <laughs> you do strap them onto the clapper, yeah. So these are uh, muffs, mufflers for the bell. Uh, and what they're designed to do is muffle the sound of the bell if you're ringing for a funeral, for example. So if I'm the clapper, yeah. <laughs> this would muffle me. This would be strapped onto this bit of the bell so that it deadens or muffles the sound uh, as it hits against the bell. The uvula of the bell, if you will. <laughs> and all they are is a piece of leather with a strap on them, and then that gets turned around the ball of the clapper mm -hmm. to deaden it against the side of the bell. Now, another interesting thing Rob, that Robert just told us earlier is that normally they put one of these mufflers on one side of the clapper, and that's normally used for funerals or something like that. But and that's called half muffled. Half muffled, but only in the state, only in the case of the sovereign passing, do you have a double muffle. So it's, so it's run full muffled. Yeah. Full yeah. muffle, which has just happened recently. Yeah. And probably, you know. So they've probably. just come down off the bells uh, this week. Very having, interesting yeah. indeed, yeah. So there we are, bell chat. I'm, you know what? There's a lot to this than, than you think. There's, it, there's a huge amount of kind of mechanics that go into doing this properly. And it's quite like demanding. It is. And um, should we go back up there and see how we're getting on? Yes. Come on then. It's time for us to be entertained by the pros now. And have you noticed, on bass, we've got Chris <laughs> Nix. This is incredible, Chris. I'm, I'm bringing in the back end here, yep. so, so to speak. So just to kick it off, um, could you please ring my bell? Oh! <laughs> oh, you get to hear how you start a bell race now. Uh, yes. Okay. You haven't heard this? This oh. is too good. Ready? Right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You got the wrong way up in the tree. Yeah, it's all good. I was going to do that. Oh, every time. I knew at the very start I was going to do that. Uh. You know, it's quite, you know, the, the game where um, you have to beat, like, things 
yeah. coming out of a hole. Hungry hippos. Yeah. It's like test a reflex. <laughs> no, because like when it goes in and out, you're sort of thinking <laughs> that like the arcade game where you have to smack <laughs> the things so coming in and out. It's interesting though, isn't it? And the sound you get out of it is so, so cool. Yeah, it's but beautiful. But we were saying earlier that when you learn these things, you almost have to hear the bells to understand rhythm and everything else. Mm -hmm. We were doing, we were learning it mm -hmm. silent. I think it's, it's yeah, a very it's strange thing to do but thank goodness for that because the rest of the village thinks we did that it's yeah. <laughs> really good and we'll be like oh until they watch they heard no <laughs> bum notes no Those nothing Londoners really get behind the road didn't they do well we'll be like we watched a bunch of YouTube it was videos. so good even, even Lynn on scones loved it thank you very much what a great little show we had there. Well, there you go. That was rounds and call changes. Yeah, and right. you guys have learned a substantial amount of ringing in one day, which is amazing, I think. And thank you all so much for uh, coming to not only teach, but also to, yeah, to, to play. ring as a group. I love the fact that you've tied your ropes up already. <laughs> you think you're finished. You know what that means? Yeah, just, that means... Yeah. Brilliant. That means... So much. Well done, guys. <laughs>